Can you tell us a little bit about how you started uh, to make art? And before that James Houston arrived in Cape Dorset, um, what kind of art did Inuit people make? And do you remember the first time you met James Houston um, and his wife, and, and what did you think of them the first time that you met them? Um, and um, your work appeared in the very first Cape Dorset print collection in 1959, and what do you remember about that time? What are your favorite things to draw? You're so famous for um, especially um, your drawings of, of owls, birds, moons. What do you think it is that, that makes your images so appealing to, to collectors and to galleries, not just in North America and Canada, but around the world? After all these years, I mean, you have an extraordinary 50-year career um, behind you. Was art a way for you to make money for your family? Or does art give you something personally and spiritually as well? What do you think about um, sort of the younger emerging artists now and some of the, the mid-career artists? Um, some of them are still doing what many people consider like the traditional Inuit art, um, wildlife, uh, the scenery around Cape Dorset. Some are doing uh, work more about uh, social issues in the community and the more modern aspects of Cape Dorset. What do you think about, about these new images and, and this new group of emerging artists? <laughs> And how do you think uh, environmental changes 
might be reflected in the art that the artists here produce. How do you think the, it, we celebrated the 50th anniversary of the Cape Dorset print collection uh, last year. Um, what do you think the Cape Dorset print collection will be over the next 50 years? How do you think it's going to change? And how do you think it's going to stay the same? In the, the South, when it's the day of the, the Cape Dorset print collection, the day that it's released, your images are the ones that are bought first. It's the ones that are, are sold out first. And people call you the, the greatest producer of, of Inuit art. I'm curious, is that how you see yourself? When people talk about you as a producing Inuit art, do you see yourself as someone that produces Inuit art, or do you see yourself as a as a Canadian artist who just happens to live and work in the north? Come on, I can't tell you. I can't tell you.